So let's take a look and see what 2024 Toyota Tacomas are available out there in my area and what they're going for price-wise today. And I looked a little bit earlier. We'll see if it's still there. I found something pretty interesting. Now, one thing I want to note before we jump into it, you're going to see some of those dealer adjustments. Keep in mind, everything is negotiable. So don't think that you have to go in and pay all that extra money. Give it a try. They can always say no, and you can always walk, right? So let's go over to the laptop and let's take a look. I've got a dealer pulled up here uh, in my area, and it looks to me that they have one Toyota Tacoma, the 2024, on the lot in stock, and about 34 of them allocated or coming. Now, a couple things I really like about this dealership is, one, they show what their aftermarket or market adjustment, dealer adjustment price is, and they let you know what the estimated arrival date is or the ETA of the trucks that are coming. Pretty handy, and I like that they give us that information. So let's go ahead and take a look. The one that they have in stock is an SR double cab. Pricing on this is $40,852, and you can see there is a dealer adjustment added to this of $3,490. Now keep in mind, all the rest of these, again, are allocated and coming. So we're going to go through these rather quickly because there are a lot of them, right? Next up, we have a TRD Sport double cab, $47,131, which, as you can see, does include a dealer adjustment. Moving on, we have a TRD off-road. I haven't seen a lot of TRD off-roads yet, so nice to see that they're starting to appear too. $54,696 dealer adjustment, and I think you're going to see dealer adjustments in a lot of this pricing, but not everyone. Next, we have a TRD Sport, $43,682. And let's take a look. I'm going to back up real quick because I want to give you what the uh, estimated arrival dates are. On the first one or second one we looked at, because it's the one that's allocated, March 22nd. The TRD off-road was February 12th. Now, obviously, they're behind schedule a bit because we're beyond February 12th, right? Next up, the sport we just talked about, uh, April 1st. Moving on, we have another TRD off-road coming, 55897 I do not see a dealer markup in this pricing. It's supposed to be here on March 24th. Then we have, let's see, another Sport TRD, 44507 Due date is April 11th. Then we have an SR5, 41172 with an ETA of 44. Next to that, we have another Sport TRD, 44,477, due in on 4.3. Moving on, we have a TRD off-road. This one is 47,097. This one is due in on March 25th. Then we have another Sport TRD, 44,637, due in on 3.31. Now, let's see. Another off-road. A lot of off-road showing up here. This one is 61392 uh, It does have a dealer markup of $5,495. This one is due in on March 12th, so pretty soon. Now, one thing I do want to mention on a lot of these with dealer markup, it's because they've added things into the price other than just money, like paint protection, uh, other packages and things. So they are giving you something for this. And that's why I say everything is negotiable because if they haven't done it yet, you can have it removed, right? Next to that, we have an SR5 double cab 41047 due on April 10th, rather. Then we have a sport double cab. This does have a dealer adjustment of $5,495 on it. 52292 is the price, and it is due in on April 1st. Next to that, we have an SR5, 40472 due in April 8th. Then we have, let's see, this is another SR5, 41747 due on April 3rd. Seems like a lot of stuff is out in April now. Um, I don't know if Toyota had a pause in production or what, but 
you would think once that EPA certificate scandal, it's not a scandal, uh, hold uh, was done, that they would really start flowing out there, but it doesn't seem to be. Next one is an SR5 double cab, 42697, due in on March 27th. That's better than into April. Then we have an SR5 double cab, another one, 48,526. There is a dealer adjustment in there of 3490. That one's due on March 8th, which is pretty quick. Next up, a TRD off-road does have a dealer adjustment in it. As you can see, price is 50806 due in on March 6th. Next to that, we have an SR5 double cab, 48406 due in on March 9th. And then we have, let's see, a TRD off-road. This has, and this is the biggest dealer adjustment I've seen, it has an adjustment on it of $6,490. Brings the price to 53631 This is due in on March 9th. Let's see. We'll go to the second page now. Going to be getting close to the end of these here pretty quick, I think. We have a, an SR5 double cab, 47951 due in on March 11th. Another SR5. Now, this one is a long bed. Um, a true unicorn. You don't see a lot of long beds, kind of like manual transmissions, right? This one is 44,000, I'm sorry, 48,451. There is a dealer adjustment in it. This one is due March 11th as well. Moving on, we have a sport double cab, a TRD, 56,946. This does have a rather hefty dealer adjustment in it of $5,495 due in on March 11th. Seems like March 11th is the hot date for these. There's another double cab, $47,131 due in March 14th. Then we have another double cab, two more double cabs, $47,131 for each. Both have dealer adjustments in them. Both are due on March 19th. Moving on, we have an SR5 double cab, 44751 due March 19th. Then we have a TRD off-road, 47097 due on March 19th as well. Let's see, we have a, an SR5 double cab, 44461. Notice there is no dealer adjustment stated on this one. Due in on March 7th. Then a Sport Double Cab TRD 47,016 due in on February 28th. That has passed. So Toyota seems to be a little bit behind on delivery. Here is a, let me, let's see, that one is a short bed. Then we have another, this is a double cab, uh, short bed, 44,196 due in on 228. Again, a little past the date here. And then we have another Sport. Let's see. This, no, it's an SR5. I'm sorry. It is 45,326 due on March 22nd. Then we have an SR5, 44,751 due on March 21st. A TRD off-road, 47,097 due on March 19th. And I think we have just one more at this dealer. This is a TRD off-road, 47097 due on March 19th. So it would appear we do have a lot of trucks coming in in March. We have a couple past due already, uh, and then some into April. Now, what I found surprising, let's check out this other dealer. And I'm only going to look at this one truck here. Uh, this is an SR5. Uh, it is a double cab and they are discounting it. You can see the regular or suggested retail price was 44,548. There's a dealer discount of $2,072, bringing the price down to 42,476. Still more money than what we've paid in the past, but I don't know, are we gonna start seeing reductions in price coming up pretty quick on these Tacomas? Depends on how fast they go, I guess. How how quickly you and I snap them up. Anyway, I just wanted to run through, show you guys a little snippet, I guess, of what's available around my area. Looks like the dealer-adjusted prices are alive and well, but one that's actually reducing their price a bit. Leave a comment. Let me know. Are you seeing any new Tacomas in your area? I'd just be curious. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.